You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India has a spell-binding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of a country's diversity. India, a nation known for its cultural diversity, celebrates its festivals with great enthusiasm and vibrancy. Basant Panchme is celebrated in honor of a Hindu goddess Saraswati. The festival also marks the preparation for the arrival of spring. The festival is celebrated across the country in different ways depending on the region. Have a look. India is soaked in the festive spirit of Basant Panchami, the most awaited festival. As per the Hindu calendar, Basant Panchami is celebrated on the fifth day of the bright half of the Hindu month of Mag. The festival also glorifies Goddess Saraswati, who symbolizes creative energy and power in all its forms, including longing and love. On the auspicious occasion of Basant Panchmi, people wake up early in the morning donning white, red or yellow clothes and a variety of sweets flavoured with saffron are prepared and donated. To mark the occasion, devotees in large numbers gathered in the holy cities of Varanasi and Haridwar as they took a holy dip in the Ganga river to wash away all sins. <laughs> दान पुण्य अपने श्रद्धा के ऊपर आपको जितना सामर्थ वो दान कर दीजिए नहीं तो अपने सामर्थ के ऊपर निर्भर कर दीजिए मान्यता है कि बसंत पंचमी है आज के दिन विद्या की देवी लक्ष्मी सरस्वती का पूजा होता है और आप आज हम लोग का 26 जनवरी भी है गणतंत्र दिवस भी है दोनों पर्वों का अंतर है in Kolkata city, devotees were seen worshipping goddess Saraswati to help guide them to the path full of knowledge. As per the Hindu beliefs, goddess Saraswati was born on this day and therefore many students keep fast until they make offerings of flowers to the goddess. We celebrate Saraswati Puja. जो जो स्टूडेंट लोग हैं जो वो तो वो बस लोग वो घूमना चाहेंगा खाने खाएगा सरस्वती माँ के पास अंजलि देगा पूजा देगा और इसके बाद एंजॉयमेंट होगा दोस्तों के साथ मीनवाइल इन अमृतसर सिटी ऑफ पंजाब डिवोटीज फ्लॉक्ड टू गुरुद्वारास वेर दे प्रेड एंड बेड इन द सेक्रेट पॉन बिलीविंग इट वुड वॉश अवे दे सिंस एंड ग्रांट ऑल देयर विशेज People were also seen relishing langar or community meals on the occasion. Aaj assi Basant Panchmi de shubh dihade te Gurudwara Shri Shihata Saheb aaya. Shihata Saheb da itihas e hai ki jehda vi premi itthe 12 panchmiyan karda onu puttar di daat mildi hai but ik Basant Panchmi saal ch ik eho panchmi hundi hai. जिन्हों Basant Panchmi holds immense importance for students and artists and special prayers are held in schools and colleges on this day. India has always been a land of great saints and philosophers assimilating in its fold various cultures and thoughts from time to time. Sufism is one such school of thought that people from various religious backgrounds have embraced for generations in India. In tribute to Sufism culture, people in Rajori district unified at the shrine of Sufi Saint Baji Ismail Sahab to commemorate their Urs. Take a look. Located in the Jhandi Mod area of Rajori district in Jammu and Kashmir, the shrine of Sufi Saint Baji Ismail Sahab is a true manifestation of peace and tranquility. 
Lakhs of devotees visit this place every year to commemorate the event that lasts more than seven days. This year, at the 54th Urs of the Saint Baji Ismail Sahab, a large number of devotees from diverse religious backgrounds thronged the place and sought the blessings of the river Saint. कोटली वाली सरकार बाजी इस्माइल साहब का ये उर्स जो है ये काफ़ी देर से इसी तरह से मनाया जा रहा है और इस डेट पर हज़ारों की तादाद में अकीदतमंद लोग जो है वो यहाँ हिंदू मुसलमान सिख ईसाई और लाखों की तादाद में ये मेला जो है सात रोज तक चलता है Offering special prayers at the shrine, devotees religiously prayed for the peace and prosperity of the nation. Sufi scholars and imams who participated in the event delivered sermons on the life, religious services, and teachings of the Sufi saint who devoted himself to public service. जो ये वलियों के दरबार हैं इनका यही है कि ये यूनिटी के एक मैसेज देते हैं सूफी इज्म जो है वो यूनिटी का ही एक मैसेज देता है इंसानियत का मैसेज देता है इनके सामने सब बराबर होते हैं और इस दरबार में सब लोग शमूलियत करते हैं और एक ही जैसी अकीदत रखते हैं A community kitchen or langar was also organized for devotees who gathered at the shrine for blessings from the holy saint. The or celebration like these are a true reflection of the religious syncretism the nation has upheld for generations. The increasing participation of the people of India in such unifying events highlights the enduring communal harmony in the country. And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indians working in different sectors across the country welcomed the 2023-24 budget, the last full budget presented by the Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman in Parliament before a general election due next year. The Indian government unveiled a 45 trillion rupees spending budget for the next fiscal year starting April to boost economic growth. It's a growth oriented budget. Clearly the government is on a growth path. Consistently the government is on a growth oriented budget. Last year also we had a growth oriented budget. Even this year we have a growth oriented budget. For the general population also it is very good. Government has agreed to forego a large amount of direct tax which is over 35000 crores which means there is more money in the pocket of the common man i think it's one of the very balanced budget it takes care of the fiscal deficit it is inclusive and most importantly it continues all the good work which has been done in the past budgets especially with regard to the capex spend and support for the manufacturing and the uh, job creations India will also raise the personal income tax rebate limit to 7 lakh rupees under the new tax regime from the previous 5 lakh rupees that has brought relief to the common man. The tax slabs will be cut to 5 from 7 earlier, Sita Raman said. Finance minister also highlighted that an individual with an annual income of 9 lakh rupees will be required to pay 45000 rupees as income tax. while those with an income of 1.5 million rupees would pay 1 lakh 50 thousand rupees or 10% of their income fan favorite bollywood on screen couple alia bhat and varun dhawan attended the media launch of z cine awards 2023 in india showbiz capital of mumbai the actors who will be performing at the award ceremony later this year were asked if fans can expect a reunion of the pair to hit the screen soon i'm a take each day at a time kind of person me i'll take one day at a time i'll give it my best i definitely i think priorities have changed um the number one priority in my life right now is my daughter who i love deeply but the next love not next love maybe next to next love my first love you can say is also movies एंड सिनेमा एंड वर्किंग तो मैं कोशिश करूंगी शायद इट विल बी क्वालिटी ओवर क्वान्टिटी जो बुरी बात नहीं है जो अभिनेता होता है जो एक्टर्स या एक्ट्रेसेज होते हैं हम लोग बस यही चाहते हैं कि लोग हमें प्रेम दें हम उनको प्रेम दें एंड अवार्ड के ये शो के द्वारा हम ये कर सकते हैं both the actors were seen posing with the award as well as a car by automobile giant maruti suzuki which will be the sponsor of the award ceremony for this year
French cyclist Nathalie Messe was facilitated in India's southern Coimbatore city as she cycled her way from France, covering at least 8,000 kilometers across 10 countries to spread the message of preventing soil erosion. Messe, who reached Coimbatore on Saturday, visited several educational institutions to raise soil awareness and interact with the students as part of her Wheels for Soil journey. I did 8,000 kilometers. Actually, my, my journey should have been longer because uh, I first planned to go through Iran and Pakistan. But when I arrived in Turkey, actually, uh, the revolution happened in Iran. So I looked at this and I said, no, it's not possible for me to go there, you know. Uh, it's uh, not secure. So I looked uh, on the map and uh, there was some war in Syria. I couldn't pass through here. So I took the plane from uh, Ankara to uh, Dubai. And then from Dubai, I cycled to Muscat, and then I took the plane to uh, uh, Mumbai. So that's 10 countries I crossed. The French cyclist started her ride on June 21, the same day when Indian yoga personality Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev completed his three-month motorcycle journey from Coimbatore after covering 27 countries for his safe soil movement. Italy, Turkey, Slovenia, Serbia, Croatia and Bulgaria are some of the countries that Masse covered in her cross-country cycling mission following the footsteps of Sadhguru. India is an abode of religious syncretism. Every year, the country celebrates a plethora of festivals in accordance with diverse religious beliefs. Basant Panchmi is one among those, be it Hindus or Muslims, countrymen celebrate the festival with great enthusiasm. For more than 700 years, people in the capital city, New Delhi, have been celebrating Basant Panchmi at the Dargah of Nizamuddin Aulia. Showcasing the communal harmony the country has propagated and preserved for generations. Take a look. The very idea of a festival marking the onset of spring is uplifting. But when it also carries the aroma of syncretic culture, it takes on a life of its own. Such is the annual celebration of Pasant Panchmi at the Dargah of Sufi Saint Nizamuddin Aulia of the Chishti Order in Delhi. At the Sufi shrine here, devotees offer yellow chadar and also sing kawali in keeping with a tradition that dates back to the 12th century. It is the only time that singing is allowed inside the shrine. On other occasions, Kavali is held in the courtyard. People of different backgrounds and religions visit the shrine to seek the blessings of the saint and celebrate the arrival of spring. यहाँ पे हर धर्म के लोग आते हैं प्यार मोहब्बत से कवाली होती है यहाँ पे गंगा जमना तहजीब आप सब लोगों को देखने को मिलेगी सब लोग प्यार मोहब्बत से आते हैं और बसंत का त्यौहार मनाते हैं यहाँ पे पीली चादर पेश होती है सब लोग सरसों के फूल पेश करते हैं मेहू बेलाई की बारगाह में इट्स अ डे व्हेन द दरगाह इज बैथ इन द क्विंटेसेंशियल कलर ऑफ पसंद फ्रॉम ऑफरिंग्स ऑफ फ्रेश मस्टर्ड फ्लावर्स टू मस्टर्ड टर्बंस एंड ट्यूनिक्स the custom is popularly attributed to Amir Khusro, who was one of the disciples of the Sufi saint. The Persian poet wanted to cheer Hazrat Nizamuddin, who was grieving the death of his nephew. When he saw women dressed in yellow celebrate Basant Panchmi, he said to have dressed like them and made his master smile. Similar clothes are even worn today and the festival is called Sufi Basant. और बसंत पंचमी हमारे 700 साल से मनाई जाती है ये ये हजरत अमीर खुसरो रहमतुल्लाह ने हजरत निजाम ने उनके मुरीद हैं उन्होंने शुरू करी थी बसंत पंचमी को बसंत को क्योंकि हजरत निजाम दिन औलिया के भांजे थे उनका देहांत हो गया था उस वक्त तो हजरत बहुत मायूस थे हजरत निजाम दिन औलिया रहमतुल्लाह ने उस चक्कर में बहुत ज्यादा परेशान किसी से बात नहीं कर रहे थे और अपना कमरा बंद करके बैठ गए थे बिल्कुल खुजर में बिल्कुल अपने आप को ब्लॉक कर लिया था बंद कर लिया था बिल्कुल किसी से बात नहीं करते थे ना हंसते थे बोलते थे ना कुछ खा रहे थे सब लोग परेशान है हजरत के मुरीद सब लोग परेशान थे तो उसके बाद क्या हुआ हजरत अमीर खुद रमदुल्ल कहीं से गुजर रहे थे गांव से उन्होंने देखा कि बहुत सारे लोग बसंत मना रहे हैं पीले फूल पीले कपड़े पहन के नाच रहे गा रहे हैं ढोलक बजा रहे हैं हजरत अमीर खुद रमदुल्ला ने उनसे पूछा कि भाई क्या माज रहे क्या चक्कर है तो लोगों ने उनको बताया आज बसंत का दिन है और हम लोग बसंत मना रहे हैं ये तो हजरत को बहुत अच्छा लगा प्रोग्राम ये बहुत अच्छा लगा उनको जो भी बना कर रहे थे वो लोग इट इज ड्यू टू एग्जाम्पल लाइक दिस 
that India stands as an unbreakable example of a multicultural and multi-religious society. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Japan's archipelago features a variety of tourist destinations on both the mainland and other islands. All Nippon Airways or ANA contributes to connecting those attractive spots by flight. Shikoku, one of the islands, has a very appealing tourist spot in Ehime Prefecture. It charms and satisfies visitors. Ehime is well known for its mandarin orange production. At the airport, this water supply provides mandarin orange juice. Sayuri Kurokawa is an ANA cabin attendant and a good informant of Ehime's charm. She also has a job on a mandarin orange farm. ANA intends to grow mandarin oranges under its control and supply their juice on flights. Ehime has its famous local cooking, sea bream and rice. Ehime has the island for a farm of sea bream. That meal provides enjoyment of raw fish, white rice and Japanese soup. They are the substance of Japanese cooking's taste. Kimono Mom is moving to Matsuama Castle by lift. Matsuama Castle has a castle town that was built before the Edo period in the 17th century. It is surrounded by a 10 meter high stone wall and its site is 4,500 square meters. Old, tough and vast are the characteristics of the Matsuama Castle. Every day the tides in the Seto inland sea change by 4 feet. It used to provide a significant advantage to local pirates in the 14th century. Ehime's charm is enhanced by her active performance and bold challenges. Kimono Mom's family got a big harvest to share exciting experiences among parents and children. Southwest China's Sichuan province tops the list as the most sought-after local tourist destination after attracting nearly 54 million tourists during the just-concluded Chinese New Year holiday. This year's Chinese New Year is the first public holiday after the loosening of COVID policies which saw the tourism market making a strong recovery. As many as 226 million passenger trips were made nationwide via railway, road, waterway and air during the holiday, official data showed. Kwanzai Eli in Chengdu city used to be a settlement area of soldiers during the Qing dynasty. Now it is a protected historical street and has become one of the most famous tourist destinations in the provincial capital. During the Chinese New Year holiday, the area welcomed thousands of visitors. In Sichuan province, many scenic spots reached full capacity. The province received around 54 million tourists and tourism revenue reached 3.5 billion US dollars, up about 24% and 10% in 2022 respectively. There are 23 homestays in Shi village which have accommodated 15,000 visitors during the holiday up about 40% year-on-year. Focusing on incoming tourists, the Japanese credit giant JCB is planning a significant cashback promotion. It will continue till April. The benefit is limited to foreign-issued JCB card holders. Qualifying status is held by 34 million card holders. Welcome to Japan. Enjoy! 10% cashback campaign to a 1月16日から4月15日まで開催しています海外会員様向けのキャンペーンでございます海外会員の方が日本に来られた際にご利用金額の10%をキャッシュバックするというものでございます最大5000円までキャッシュバックされますのでそちらのお金を日本の滞在での
日本で生まれた国際カードブランドとしましておもてなしの心を世界に広めていきたいと考えておりますコロナ禍におきまして日本になかなか来れなかったカード会員さんもいらっしゃると思っておりますコロナが収まったタイミングを見計らいまして 10% キャッシュバック一律でですねやっていきたいというふうに考えておりますそれはしっかりあのお客様にカード会員様にお帰りなさいという気持ちを伝えたいという思いでございますおもてなしというのは日本伝統の言葉で私心のない心でしっかり誠意を持ってお迎えするという心になっておりますあの日本に来られたすべての加盟店で使える大型のキャッシュバックキャンペーンを生成しました今まで海外会員さん向けにはやったことない規模でしてしっかり私たちとしましても海外会員の方を日本でお迎えするというコミットメントを表しております JCB's member store Daimaru is one of Japan's largest department stores attracting many customers every day Daimaru is looking forward to an increase in inbound customers in addition to Japanese customers. JCB has a special web page dedicated to the campaign. The JCB card is available for use in every member shop in Japan. Foreign tourists benefit greatly from JCB's hospitality. Furthermore, it helps to boost the local economy. The United States and South Korea carried out a joint air drill with American B-1B heavy bombers and F-22 stealth fighters as well as F-35 jets from both countries, according to South Korea's Defense Ministry. North Korea's Foreign Ministry responded that joint drills by the United States and its allies have pushed the situation to an extreme red line and threatened to turn the peninsula into a huge war arsenal and a more critical war zone. More than 28,500 American troops are based in South Korea as a legacy of the 1950 to 53 Korean War, which ended in an armistice rather than a peace treaty. Moving on, a young artist in India has become an inspiration for many others who find their lives hard and unreasonable at various stages. Born with abnormal and underdeveloped arms. Rithik is garnering praise from contemporary artists for his ability to paint the canvas with creativity using his feet. Let's have a look at this awe-inspiring artist and his paintings. Overcoming all the odds in life, Rithik, especially able the young artist, has become an inspiration for many. In what has been hailed as wonder by contemporary artists, young Rithik, who was born with abnormal underdeveloped arms expresses his artistic creativity at canvas using his feet a state that could have easily taken a toll on his mental health as well rithik didn't allow himself to be consumed by any negativity and instead mastered a skill that is garnering him fame and respect from all quarters Rithik paints, does modeling work and several other complex activities with what people refer as his miracle feat. I sketching from the beginning, I do a canvas board on a cleric color. I do a lot of work in the exhibition. I do a lot of work in modeling and painting. भी है मेरे को बाकी और आर्टिस्ट बनना चाहता हूँ पहले से ही इसको आदत पड़ी हुई थी पेंटिंग की वहाँ बच्चे करते थे तो ये भी करता था फिर इसका यही कहना हुआ था कि मुझे पेंटिंग में ही जाना है आगे बढ़ना है कुमावत पहल चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट और केपीसीटी अ मुंबई बेस्ड नॉन गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच प्राइमरली वर्क्स टू इंप्रूव द लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ स्पेशली एबल पीपल एंड ट्रेन देम टू बिकम इंडिपेंडेंट हैज प्लेड अ की रोल इन रितिक्स जर्नी दस फार व्हेन केपीसीटी अथॉरिटीज गॉट टू नो अबाउट रितिक दे इमीडिएटली गॉट इनटू एन एसोसिएशन विद हिम एंड प्रोवाइडेड ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ सपोर्ट एंड गाइडेंस टू फर्दर डेवलप हिज स्किल्स and today rithik has reached the point of success where he is being acknowledged and applauded for all his work we initiated this organization for those people who are specially able and they do painting as their hobby 
so at our organization we uh, we uh, meet this type of people we bring them together we provide them platform so that they can uh, exhibit their our talent uh, in front of audience they get recognition they get uh, the good uh, career into the painting and all that we are planning through this uh, small effort that we are doing it passionate about modeling painting and artwork rithik wants to be a professional some day the stage appears set for rithik for he is committed to further improving his skill set and he has both popular and systematic support and all the credit must go to rithik only for his determination and hard work have brought him this far Well that's all we have for you this week your comments and suggestions are important to us do give us your feedback at myindia@anin.com i'm your host lipakshi and it's goodbye from the entire production team